Okay, y'all. Uh, so for the Patron cake, here's the way that I do it. I just use my board, put place the board underneath, and then I baked up two six-inch round pans. That's just vanilla cake. So once you place those on top, you want to start to shape it using your knife to cut it kind of like a square. And once you cut off that excess, I use the last piece to place on top. So as you can see, it's cut into a square. And there's that extra piece. So once I get all of that shaped and I realize the way that I want it to be, you are going to take your icing and just cover it in icing. Make sure you do your layers of icing. So in between where you see the two separate pieces of cake, I actually put my icing in between. Right where that brown line is. And I use Rice Krispie Treats to make the neck of the bottle. So you just squeeze it as much as you can just to compact it in and to shape it and give you that round cylinder. So here I am covering the cake, which is going to be the box, the box of the Patron bottle. This is just a 8 inch square pan and then I cut it in half and place each side on top of each other. Just frost the cake like you normally frost the cake. And then I got some regular fondant rolled out. I colored this fondant green. It was white. Depending on how thick you roll your fondant out, you can move it. Because as you can see here, I placed it on a little too short, so I had to keep adjusting it until it was covering the cake completely. So now I have it covered completely. Now just start to smooth out the edges a little. You can use your fondant smoother or you can use your hands. If you use a fondant smoother it will actually help you a lot better. Just sometimes I don't use it. So I'm just going around slowly pushing the fondant down. You don't want to go too fast because you'll get those pleats. You want to avoid those pleats. I 
I actually have a lot of excess funding. I really didn't need that much. So eventually you'll get to the bottom and then you can just cut that extra off. Another good tool is the round fondant smoother. They actually have the square fondant smoother or the, the corner smoother actually. So as you can see, I've cut off all my excess fondant. And I just put that to side to be used later. And now I'm going around and smoothing it a little more. This step here is up to you. So if you want it extra, extra smooth, go ahead and use that fondant smoother. And now we're all set, everything's all smooth. You want to just push it in if you can. And as you can see, I got my rough edges right there because I cut the fondant too short. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover that with a happy birthday banner. So no big deal. So I turned the cake upside down and that's my cake board. And I'm just going to push the excess fondant over the cake board. Which is why you want to flip your cake upside down so that you can get a smooth bottom. And I'm just wiping off some of the excess frosting. I got a lot of extra fondant. And extra frosting. So now I'm just pushing the fondant over, folding it over, so that when I flip it back over, you won't see all that excess. And it will look a lot smoother. Just go ahead and flip it back over. And there you go. That will be the box. Try and keep that square shape as much as you can. So now you can use a paintbrush. Make sure your paintbrush is damp, not too wet. And you just go around and dust off all that excess powdered sugar. So once you dust off that excess powdered sugar, you're going to have this semi-shiny look. So 
So I have my edible image here. And that's the actual label that's on the box. To place the label on, you can use just a dab of water, but for the edible images, I really recommend you use just a little bit of corn syrup. Corn syrup, it will act as like a piping gel, act as the glue. So I just put corn syrup along the edges of the label only. I don't put corn syrup in the middle and all over the back because too much if you know the edible image will get soggy and it will break. It will actually fade the image as well. So that's it for the box. Now the next step we'll do the actual bottle. So here I have the bottle and what I did what I didn't show was I just covered it in icing. Like I said before, just ice it and make sure your icing is pretty smooth. The smoother, the better. Once you do that coating, if you have a smooth coat on that cake, your bottle will be 10 times smoother. So go ahead, grab your fondant, use whatever kind of fondant you have. You can use store-bought or you can use some homemade marshmallow fondant. For me, marshmallow fondant tastes a thousand percent better than store bought. So go ahead and roll out that fondant. You don't have to roll it out super, super thin, but just get it to the thickness to where um, it won't be too bulky on top of the cake. So now right in the center, I am going to just use a cookie cutter to cut out a small hole. Once you get that small hole, now you're going to be able to just put that fondant right over top. And that's going to go over that Rice Krispie Treat neck that you made. Now here comes the process of smoothing the fondant. So you're just going to slowly start to smooth it out. Keep going around. You're going to pull those pleats out and press down. The palm of your hand is really, really good for this. Just going to press down a little and pull the pleats out as you go. You don't go down too much. You just do a little at a time until eventually you get to the bottom. So I just cut off the excess fondant that was draped over. Once you place it on there, you can get a good judge of how much fondant you'll need. And then you'll be able to just cut that extra off. And I'm just smoothing it as I go. So just like you did with the box, you're going to do the same thing with this bottle. Lift it up and you're going to push that extra fondant underneath. So what I'm doing is just pushing it underneath and smoothing it under. That right there is the cake board, so I'm just pressing it onto the cake board. And there you have it. Now I'm just going to press out a little bit of fondant. 
need that thick fondant to go around the bottleneck. So depending on how tall your neck is, you're just going to make sure you cover it almost to the top. And you remember that part right there is going to be covered with the ribbon. So it's okay to leave that little crack showing because it's not going to show once you're finished. Right there, I just rolled out like a worm-shaped piece of fondant to make that top of that bottleneck. Because you guys know that top piece is a, where you pour it from. It's a little thicker than the rest of it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the Wilton Color Mist in the silver. You can use your airbrush gun if you have one. And you can also use a little bit of silver luster dust mixed with vodka or rose spirits. Any type of high proof vodka. So you can sit here and you can paint it on. Or you can spray it on. I do the first coat, let it dry for about two minutes, then I go back, do a second coat, let it dry two minutes, and just keep alternating until you get that color that you desire. For this bottle that I made, I actually ended up having to use the entire bottle because I wanted that deep silver. I use the entire bottle. So you see what I mean there about the smoothness of the bottle? If you make sure that your icing is smooth, you won't have to worry about those lumps. Now we're going to place the label on. Like I said before, when we made the box, the label, I do the same thing. I just put a little bit of corn syrup around the edges, the outer edges of the label. You want to place those labels right on there. Super, super simple. I'm just pressing firmly to make sure my edges are stuck down. I don't want those edges peeling up. So here's how I made the cork for the top of the bottle or the bottle stopper, whichever one you want to call it. I just used Rice Krispie Tree. I just balled the Rice Krispie Tree up to whatever size I needed it to be. So I just squish it into a ball. And then I use a paintbrush with a little bit of brown gel food coloring. You just put that on the end of the paintbrush. And then you're going to dip that paintbrush into some water. And just dab it. Right onto the Rice Krispie ball. You 
if you want to use a lighter color, I would suggest to use like a tan, maybe even ivory would work. So that's the top of the bottle. And now here is the the ribbon that hangs off of the bottle where the hang tag goes. I just rolled out that excess green fondant from before. I just used a pizza cutter to cut out a long strip. You're going to place that strip right over that bottleneck. And I did not use anything to stick that on. The fondant sticks right to the fondant. So right now, what I'm using on the end of that stick, that white stuff is white chocolate. So I just took a stick, dipped it in the white chocolate, and I'm going to use that to glue on the top. I like to use that chocolate because it's really, really good. It has a good hold. And it also dries super quick. So last but not least, we're going to put the seal on the top. If you've ever had any Patron, it has that green seal over the top. So that's going to act as the seal and we're going to make it as realistic as possible. And then that's just some Wilton glitter, some Wilton edible glitter. I just sprayed that on her to give it, give it that little shimmer that you see. I just gave it a few pumps and it gave it that nice little shimmer. So there it is guys and I hope you like this video. Um, if you have any questions, if I missed anything, don't hesitate. Please just shoot me a message. Leave me a comment. I will answer it, you guys. Don't be afraid to ask me anything else that you would want to know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, always come back because I'll be doing more and more videos. And I hope you like this Patron bottle cake. And that's the end. Once I placed it on the board, there you go. Happy birthday. The person's 31. That's the end. See you guys later.